Now that the screws are tightened up, uh, you can remove the piece of tape from the bottom. And the next thing we're going to do is put the motor back on. And the gasket, you'll see there's two holes here. Um, you want to line those up on the, on the gearbox. And I like to put two screws through the holes on the gasket to hold it in place. Because uh, it's a little flimsy, as you can see. And then, uh, and then we will reinstall the motor. You just grab the motor, and if it looks a little dry, you can put some grease on there, just a little all-purpose grease. And there's three holes. You want to make sure the center one is at the top, and that just kind of just goes in there. You might need to turn this a little bit. Now we got all three screws in the motor. You just want to do those hand tight. Uh, not, don't over tighten them, but you want to get it nice and snug. Uh, next, we're going to replace the axle, and you want to make sure this divot is going to line up with this hole in the sleeve of the gearbox. So we're going to slide this through here, go through, and uh, don't forget to put the collar on, which I almost did. And then we're going to push that all the way through the other side I need to tap it just to get it going through the gearbox just a little bit okay, pause. so we've got the axle in and you can see that little divot in the axle and we want to rotate the uh, sleeve here so it's straight up and down. Um, I've got the battery plugged in. I'm going to turn the power on a bit, little bit and I'm going to rotate it around until it's right up and down like that. Then I'm going to wiggle the axle by hand and position it directly under that hole right there. And you'll find in the kit that you got there's a little ball bearing and you need to put that ball bearing in the hole right above the divot and then tap it with a small hammer like so. So the ball bearing is in the divot. Then you're gonna put this collar over top but this hole is gonna go on the total opposite side of where the ball bearing is. So you're gonna turn the power back on, rotate it around until you see that hole. So the ball bearing is on the opposite end. This is gonna go over that hole and then we're gonna put the set screw back in and tighten it up. Now we've got the set screw in and we tightened it up. We want to get that good and snug. Uh, next thing we're going to do is put replace this axle pin in here and uh, get the block of wood out again. And you can just get that lined up like so. Start tapping it. You want to tap it through so there's equal distance on each side of the axle. And then you can put the wheels back on and you're ready to go.